at uh, Big Bear. I've just finished my heat in the West Coast Challenge. As you see, I've got a nice five wetsuit on at the moment. But uh, 18 years ago, uh, June 2002, I swam from uh, Robben Island over there to this very beach in a, in a speedo. Um, so a distance of eight kilometers it took me two hours, 36 minutes. And um, yeah, that was probably the biggest achievement I've ever had. Or I could surf another contest, I could run another marathon, but I don't think I could uh, swim from there ever again. In terms of training for, for that, I was based in Durban at the time, so myself and my partner John McCarthy go to Midmar Dam in the middle of the winter and put uh, lanolin on us. My sister sent it from uh, Dover, where the guys that, that swim the English Channel douse themselves in, in lanolin, but uh, lanolin's got sheep's wool e extract in it, so the organizer of the swim didn't want us to put that on because it would obviously attract men in grey suits, those big sharks. So our secret weapon of dousing ourselves with the lanolin was uh, cast aside. Good morning from Table Mountain. A week after the contest, if I scroll around here, you'll see Lion's Head over there. And then Bloberg, where we were last weekend. Um, with the West Side Challenge. I'm still buzzing after an amazing, amazing event. And yeah, I'm really stoked that I had the, um, I suppose the, the fitness and whatever to pull through the weekend. It was pretty full on. I mean, we surfed a lot of times and what an amazing event. I mean, the waves were fair. The, um, weather was amazing. The organization was incredible, but the camaraderie, and the kiss was something special and something I'll never ever forget. I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of uh, the type of events and uh, things that I do in order to keep in some sort of shape um, so that when I get in the water I enjoy my, my surf time. I don't get in the water nearly as much as I used to and nearly as much as I would like. A uh, couple of reasons for that, obviously the normal work, family uh, commitments. Also, I'm from Durban originally and we get spoiled there. It's just so easy just to shoot down 10 minute, everywhere's 10 minute drive, shoot down to the beachfront, flop off the end of the pier, ride a few waves and that's all but before kind of 5.30 in the morning uh, because it obviously gets light so, so early there. So, yeah, I was spoiled, and obviously you don't need wetsuits and stuff like that there. Um, but in Cape Town, I live in between Frederhoek in the city centre and Musenberg, which is um, arguably one of the worst waves in the world, but I love spending, spending time here. I've got a flat right, right on the beachfront, so I, you know, walk down for, for a surf, either on the kneeboard or on a, a Malibu board, a life-saving Malibu board. Um, yeah, it, I just really enjoy that as well. You can ride such long waves, catch waves even further out than the subs. And yeah, it's really good for core strength. And obviously it is still kneeling, even though you can't really do nearly as many maneuvers as you can on a, on a knee board. Um, but it's really good exercise and you can get a lot of waves in a, in a short amount of time, much to everyone else's um, fury. Um, and then when I do when I do surf, uh, you know, on the kneeboard, either at Musenberg on the on the highest tide, otherwise, you know, down in the south, Cormacky sort of area, Scarborough, um, and then otherwise up 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 the west coast. And obviously, I try to get back to to Durban as much as I can. Um, in terms of a morning routine, so I wake up in the morning and I have a, a cup of warm water. Um, and then a cup of lemon water. A set of exercises, or oh, then I have a cold shower actually. I have a really cold shower and then uh, move into a bit of heat. Otherwise I find that I'm just freezing for, for the rest of the day. I then move into an exercise routine, which is around 30 minutes or a fitness routine or whatever you want to call it. So basically, I 
start off with um, some yoga, some you know, basic sun salutation, just loosen up the body and just stretch all aspects of, of my body. I then move into some um, other stretches, use a, a thorough band in order to stretch my hips get, and that's a common problem with knee borders and older people, um, hips uh, often get really tight. Um, stretch those muscles and I do a couple of exercises on that and then um, you know move on to my stomach and get more um, you know, muscles around the glutes working and so on I then move into um, some breathing exercises and that's obviously a huge part of life and a huge part of um, of surfing so yeah do some breathing exercises to to, to calm calm the body and to calm the mind um, and then move into some meditation and it's yeah you know, roughly 10 minutes of each um, of each discipline so 10 minutes yoga 10 minutes breathing and then uh, 10 minutes <laughs> In terms of uh, breathing, I you know, obviously do the 10 minutes in the morning, um, but obviously you know, being in the water, getting breathing techniques right is, is crucial. So a couple of things that I do um, is try and swim un underwaters. Um, I just do uh, four underwaters or four 25 meter spurts un underwater in order to um, you know, get myself you know, reasonably acclimatized for, um, for fitness and for, for hold unders. Um, I then, you know, I've done uh, John McCarthy's uh, training course, and I know quite a few of the guys who've done it, quite a few of the kneeboarders have done it, and got a lot of benefit from, from that. And really try for the age old thing of guttural breathing as opposed to, you know, real shallow chest, chest breathing. Um, other exercise, uh, I swim, I swim a lot. I try and swim four times a week, um, but just a half hour session in, in the gym, so I can be in and out. You know, one hour door to door to door. Um, I break up my swim between um, freestyle, backstroke. I uh, then do a fair amount of kicking um, with with the flippers. Um, you know, sometimes with a ball or some. Uh, reps with a board and some without um, and then obviously the underwaters that are that I spoke about I then yeah I enjoy running I've done uh, three two oceans and three comrades uh, um, and then a couple of overseas marathons I've done the New York marathon the Greenland marathon and the original um, marathon the Athens marathon from the city of Marathonus to, to Athens so um, I enjoy running, even though I don't do it nearly as much as I, I used to. And, but obviously that's also put some strain on the body, hence all the, the stretching and, and doing other things. love walking on the mountain as, as, as well. So that's a little bit of my um, out of the surf training routine. Hope uh, that gives you a little bit of insight and a little bit of um, benefit. Okay, so we're on to the thorny or weighty issue of nutrition and, and diet. I'm here at the um, West Coast Classic. You see Table Mountain in the background, beautiful flowers spring in Cape Town, and the heat's on the go. Um, shirt I'm wearing is from the 2001 contest, so 20 years ago. It was definitely a lot lighter than I was now, than I am now. Kind of struggled a bit with uh, weight to up my life, um, but um, yeah, it's been an in interesting journey for for me, just trying different uh, methods of eating and, and so on. Um, Easter this year, I met with Giggs and Lawrence and a few mates at the Strike Course Pub in um, Musenberg. And on the Thursday night, we decided, right, so Giggs and I were going to go on a Banting Warrior Challenge. So we did a 21-day challenge there, which was basically intermittent fasting. So you 
fast until between 12 and 4 in the afternoon um, and then move on to banting type, type food and that was really good in terms of weight loss and so on but um, that wasn't really sustainable for, for me. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and just got some sort of insight uh, into my little mission and let's move forward.